I came in from moving a bunch of bricks with the neighbors and I have two babies in here. I was starting to get worried. I was thinking I might have to do a I'm worried because nothing's happening video. But look, we have a little tiny friend. Hi, little friend. You want company. You have company. Your company's over there. Oh, be cuddled. <gasps> Your soggy little selves just came out, I can tell. And I sat down and I heard peeping. You okay there? Don't fall on your face too hard. Oh, don't peck. Don't peck. They can be pretty mean while they're stuck in here together. So at the very least, we have two birds. Sorry. Sorry for shaking the screen a little there. Are you going to be a bully? You're going to start off that way. Don't do that. Your friend doesn't like it. We can't open it at least until Saturday. It is currently Thursday. They have what's called a yolk sack. So any creature that's born out of an egg has very different needs than a creature that is born mammal style. Um, so these creatures have a lot of nutrients stored on them when they first come out of the egg because the parent, the bird, sitting on top of the nest can't really go anywhere for the first couple days because the babies are more at risk of freezing to death. Um, if they stick their faces far enough through this flooring they do end up getting some water which is just a feature, they don't actually need it. Uh, at all, but they will get it kind of like by accident, you know, <laughs> and I discovered that with the last time we hatched out. So yes, cuddle, don't peck. That's much nicer. There you go. So they don't actually need water. They need to be kept warm, very warm, that amount of warm, and dry. It's actually an average between the two, but that's the temperature we've been the whole time. And hi, little friend. Hi. Hello. You're famous. Are you ready for your close-up? It's foggy because we're looking through low-quality plastic. In case you were not sure, this is where we are, is inside an incubator. Hi, huh, baby. The humidity leveled out very quickly to perfect. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. How are you? Welcome to the world. You're exciting. You're exciting. Oh, is it a little thing of black tape? You're going to eat it, huh? You're going to need to dry off. going behind the humidifier or the not the humidity reader and the temperature reader <laughs> you fell over you fell over baby hi how are you how are you it looks like you two are pretty similarly timed because you're similarly damp I just heard you in there squeaking. It's what happened. Oh, you're gonna fall over again? You're so cute. Now we'll just keep, um, so the eggs are all pushed around now. Um, and we'll just keep on. Oh, 
Oh, you gonna sleep? That's a nice nap. You flopped around, you fell every which way, and now it's nap time. We'll keep on recording them until I run out of time. So this video recorder is straight shot because I haven't, I haven't the energy to learn an editor just yet. We'll get there. Um, but it's straight shot, it's no pause. So at 8.51, we'll be done looking at babies. And that's, I think that's a good amount of time to be watching little babies flop around inside of a... If you see any other eggs moving on their own without getting bonked, let me know. I'm really hoping that we'll have a good hatch rate, but I'm excited to see any of them at all. I really, really am super excited by that. Huh, are you cuddling or just pecking each other? If they stay this far back where it's hard to see them, then maybe we'll end it sooner. I don't know. End the video sooner. Don't hurt your friend, you meanie. Got her butt. Floppy baby. There's a floppy baby coming this way. Hi, floppy baby. Hi, you're so small. Uh, their bodies are maybe the size of a quarter. If you add on the head, we've maybe got a half dollar worth of baby bird here, total. I'm sure you can hear the motor running on the incubator, but you can also hear them peeping. And you're too damp. You have to stay in. At the minimum, even if there weren't other eggs, you would have to stay in there until you were fluffy and dry. But there's other eggs. And if we open the incubator too soon, then the soft lining inside the egg can make it too hard for the other eggs to hatch if they poked a little hole. Then it can just dry out and make it too hard for the other babies to get out. So we don't want to have that problem. Still got a decent amount of water down here. It's a little poopier than it was. Huh. Hey, you flopping our way? Hello! Here's your tiny baby! Oh, two tiny babies! Hello! You are I'm making a cameo. Are you gonna close the video out? Looks like it. So they're popping out now, so if you haven't subscribed and hit the, uh, the notification bell, this would probably be a good time to do it because we're going to have a lot more little baby videos of little baby birds coming up. And that way you'll be the first to know. So, Welcome to the cliffside, Yens. This is permaculture. Take care. Bye.